Man, fire! That is a bastard. So, as I was saying, the person that offered me 500,000 naira, then 500,000 naira was so big because I look at my situation. But to God be the glory, the person is no longer alive today. And um, what is trying to lure me, God of uh, this commission, stop it. Today, I don't look at 500,000 naira as a big deal by the special grace of God. Um, another aspect of my testimony is this. A week to travel, I don't eat in the office. But suddenly, I don't know what happened, I was poisoned. I would have been a dead person if not our prophet. So, um, I don't really know what happened. I don't eat in the office, I don't know what happened. But I was poisoned. So, I went to um, hospital, they give me some drugs, but I can't take it. Immediately, I put something from my mouth, I'll treat up. Then that night, I vomited 30 times. Then I lost strength. So, it occurred to me, there is a water that our papa blessed. That was December we sought. So, I was, is it the end of my life? Here and there. Then suddenly, I got home. I grabbed the water. I drank the water. And I vomited. Behold, it was a massive, thick blood. So that was the beginning of my deliverance. And today, I made the trip. God guided me. God protected me by flights, by road. Here I am. If not God, I don't know where I would have been. The, I faced a lot of battle in the office. I remember the very day I gave testimony, Papa said, this is just the beginning of the trial. Don't think you have arrived. Behold, what he said happened. The worst thing that can happen to you, somebody you call a friend, I'll be the one stabbing you at your back. I told God, if you give me a job, not for my glory, but to assist people. Unfortunately, the people that I brought in to be like my backbone, let's achieve this. These are the people that gang up against me. All rumors, God bear me witness, I collected nothing from anybody. Then it comes to the office that people start making a lot of allegations. People that you know very well, I mean, telling people I collected 10,000 naira from them to give them a job, I collected 5,000 naira, all sorts of things. I remember one of them offered me 3,000 naira. I told him to use it for offering, he should not give it to me. So these are the group of people that planned against me. So I called them individually. What was my offense? Is it bad to bring you a table where you can feed your family? So he likes, you don't know what you're saying. We can't be here and you become a leader here. So I was like, okay. One, I am too emotional. I have every right to sack anybody I want to sack. But I feel like it will be a burden to the family. So let God take full control. I called daddy. I said, this is, this is what is going on in my office. And funny enough, most of them from this church, I don't know them, until I brought them in, I mean, to work in our company. So, surprisingly, these are the set people that gang up against me. If not because of integrity, I would have been sacked. But things turn, turn around, the other way around, I ask God to just sack them, not me. Unfortunately to them, they call them stealing. So now, they don't know what is going on. As I'm talking to you, I think about five people will be sacked tomorrow. So these are the people, these are the people that I fed, I helped financially, anything you can mention. When the religion work, they told me they don't have money. I give each person 10,000 10, naira each without refunding it. 
I didn't demand the return. Your best is what I want. Let's work together. Thank God. I don't review private, anything privacy concerning the company because the company hearts is in my hands. So they try all such they could. They could not succeed. So it gets a point that the, the director that trusted me because once the allegation is flying, I'll be the one to report myself to management. This is what is going on. Unfortunately to them, we are dealing with organization is cashless. Nobody sees the money of the company. All the allegations, you know, come to nothing. I want to really appreciate God. And management starts somehow behaving funny. If there is anything I can tell you that is working for me, is grace of unlimited job. So um, people say there is no job, but I will tell you if you have God, you have everything. Because I remember me that I've been walking around looking for, I mean, submitting CV. I am, it's a different board game today. I select CV, I employ people. So now, the company I'm working with currently start behaving funny. But I know my hand is neat. I was like, I called the GM, I want to resign. It's like, if you resign, I will resign. I said, because I am seeing darkness coming the way the company is going. So I don't know. It's like, it's time for me to move on. I'll give my best to the company. Not because I have offers, but I look at what is coming. When you see a problem, okay, you tell um, the management, this is what is happening, but they're not ready to move. So I look at, okay, maybe it's time for me to move on. As I was coming this morning, I got a call. Behold, I've been having a lot of offer, but I turn it down because I want to give my best to these people. But I look at it, what are they up to now? Because everything we planned is not working the way we plan it. It's just working as funny, funny. To God be the glory, I am still with them and offers are still coming. This morning, I have about three fantastic offers elsewhere. I have not making my choice. Ask God to do his will. I want to tell you, if you are in this church, every day I come to service here, Papa may release thousands of prophecy, but what concerns me, I grab it and it work for me. If you are here, I am encouraging you. There is God here. And your problem is not too big for God to solve is only your faith can take you where you want to go. I want to thank you, Papa. I want to thank every one of you. Um, it is your prayer that have taken me far so far. Thank God I am here. Thank God I'm alive. Thank God you are my sister. Thank God you are my brother. I want to use this medium to say I appreciate you all. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. City of David. City of David. My name is Johnson. I am Mr. Johnson Carlo. I want to first of all thank our Papa. I thank God. Thank every one of you for being there. I want to really thank uh, Brother Joel. God has used him so great. In putting me where I am today. I've been in this church for two years plus before he came. He spent three months then. I got connected. Only three months he spent here. It is only God can do that. I really appreciate God for that. I called Papa um, like uh, on the 5th of April. I told him, Papa, two good news. He was coming back from the east. Papa was very happy. But I know it's the good news, but if I tell you, you will not figure out the good about it. But I myself know it's a good news. My mother has been sick for two weeks. That's, uh, my mother has been in the hospital. She has been sick for a period of time. But I spent two weeks in and out. I close from work. I go to hospital. From hospital, I go back to work every morning. So I shuttle hospital to work straight two weeks. 
my family did not see me. I didn't come home. Then after that two weeks, my mom recovered, gets better, started moving around. Then they discharged us 